Hey guys, Ole Anderson from the Berkshire, Massachusetts Treasure Hunter. Uh, I did a video last week, I think it was, and I said I was going to unbox uh, a new metal detector. Uh, and I also got another package we got to look at. Um, I'm still waiting for the legend. They pushed it out to February sometime, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, let me put you down and we will start this unboxing, okay? So here it is. Well... Still in this box. Let's get it out of there. Open it up. Uh, let's see what we can do. By the way, this knife here I found in the river. Uh, I showed it before. It's a German uh, knife from Soligen or Soligen. Uh, it's rusting though for some reason. It's getting a bit rusted. Uh, it's from Germany. It's a, probably from the 50s. It's a dagger. It got the talon on the globe, you know, an eagle talon and a globe on it. So, yeah, I gotta clean it up though before it starts to rust too much. So, uh, but we opened the box, so let's see what we got. So, right now I'm using the Amphibio. Oh, I was using the Amphibio, so frozen now you can't do nothing um, up here in Massachusetts, so no way to get in the ground. I don't have any permissions to any woods. You could probably get in the ground in the woods that might not be totally frozen, but I don't know. It was minus 7 or 10 this morning, and it's going to be cold next week too, so I don't think there's many chances. But uh, let's see what we got here. Put it over here, so... So there it is. As you can see, it's the simplex. So yeah, uh, I guess it comes with a five-dollar coupon. That's pretty cool. Uh, and this one I got on Amazon, but it's from High Plains Prospectors. Uh, I was looking at Calico, but the problem is they charge for shipping. Uh, I would love to buy from Calico. Actually, the other package is from Calico. Uh, but the problem is, you gotta pay shipping, and on Amazon, you don't pay shipping if you go through Amazon. Uh, and this is from uh, another metal detecting company called High Plane Prospectors. And the shipping was fast, and uh, they actually contacted me to see if I got the package, so they definitely followed up. So, uh, yeah, and I got a five dollar coupon for when I buy something next time. So as you can see it's the simplex. Uh, this comes with uh, the extra coil, the nine by I can't even remember what, what it is. Oh the SP24 coil. Uh, I think it's a nine by six or something like that. Um, but uh, let's get the package out there and look at it. I mean you all seen simplex reviews and unboxing because they've been out since what 2020 a bit before two here yeah, probably 2020 2021 and this metal detector put the whole metal detecting world upside down when it came out because how cheap it is uh if you don't go with the headset and the extra coil or anything extra is 254 dollars and I mean it can do anything uh, it doesn't go as deep of course it's not a multi frequency but this machine is pretty incredible I had it before but a uh, stupid me decided to sell it because I was using the amphibio and then I'm watching all kind of YouTube uh, videos where people are just finding stuff left and right with this one with the simplex including silver which I haven't been able to find with the uh, Amphibio. Uh, the Amphibio is a, well, when I bought it, it was a $900 machine. Like I said, this is a $254 with, if you just get the metal detector itself. This came with a few extra things. Headset, well, let's open it up and I'll show you, but I think it was $339 or something like that. Uh, now, I didn't pay anything for this. Uh, I bought it for all the coins I found last year and I traded in 
I sold some silver that I have. Uh, I didn't pay any of my money for the legend either. Um, it's all been paid with what I've been finding in 2021, so that's pretty cool. It's one of the only hobbies that actually gives you money back. <laughs> but uh, let's get this out of the box and then uh, open it up and see what we got. So, here it is. Um, it's a pretty cool box too. Uh, I love Nocturne machines. Uh, I saw the new Deus 2 came out. Uh, I don't know, I think it's too complicated for me. Um, and it's a $1,600 machine. And I don't want to pay $1,600 for a metal detector. But, I am still going to be using the Amphibio. Of course, when I'm getting the Legend, it will be my main metal detector. Uh, but my hopefully my daughters go with me next year. My two daughters, uh, or this year, this summer, or this spring when we start to go metal detecting again. And... I can have one using the Amphibio and I can have one using the Simplex and I can be on the Legend so it'll be a whole family affair and when I go by myself I can have the Simplex with me or the Amphibio and if especially where I go I got a lot of permissions a ton of them uh, that I get to to uh, something called the community board here in town uh, they have an online community board and I got a ton of permissions here and uh, Sometimes the landowners or the house owners or if I'm in a park, I have people saying, oh, it could be cool trying to metal detect and I can let them join me for a little bit. They can be on the simplex. It's a pretty much a started and go machine. If you need a metal detector, I would go with this one. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. It's $254 on Amazon with free shipping that's why i would go amazon because calico don't offer free shipping um so you're paying a lot more so it's 254 just for detector just for this um and then you can get headset and uh all kind of stuff for it i definitely recommend the headset because if you're in a park or somewhere a People don't like to hear your metal detector, to be honest. Um, so you can be quiet with a headset and you hear the tones a lot better too. So so it's IP68, waterproof up to 3 meters or 10 feet. Uh, it's wireless, audio ready. It has a built-in battery, which I like. Uh, I guess you can, at some point, they might... I don't know how long the batteries are going to last, but uh, I'm sure they'll last for a long time. Um, it's a lightweight machine too. It's only 1.3 kilos or 2.9 pounds. Uh, it has an all metal mode, field mode, park mode, and beach mode. Uh, of course, you got iron volume, not discrimination, frequency shift, so you can shift the frequency manually up and down a little vibration if you're underwater uh, like I said it'll go down to 10 feet uh, if you're underwater you have to display underwater you can have vibration and it vibrates in the handle and you can feel if there's anything there and then you can look on your numbers VDI numbers it got a backlight LED backlight and it got an LED flashlight which is good if you're hunting when it's getting dark uh, and they got the double D search coil, the what is it, the uh, 11 inch search coil. And what Nocta has done that not many companies do, you got online firmware updates. And this machine has been updated a lot and has been improved a lot. And it's, it's an awesome machine, similar enough for beginners, yet as it says, impressive enough for experts. I see a lot of YouTubers using this machine. And like I said, I had it, but uh, I sold it because I thought the Amphibio, I was using the Amphibio, and it is, and the Amphibio is a better machine, but uh, I think they're going to phase the Amphibio out because now when the Legend is coming, they're not going to support uh, Amphibio, that's how it goes, but 
I'm pretty sure the this simplex has been selling like hotcakes, so they're gonna support that for a long time. If you need a metal detector and you want to get into metal detecting, this is the way you want to go. There's similar, nothing else. I mean, you can buy cheap metal detectors, but can't go too cheap, then they won't be able to find anything. Uh, I see they sell them in tractor supplies, a hundred dollar machine, but you'll be disappointed, to be honest. Um, if you start out want to go metal detecting, I would get the Simplex Plus. I mean, that's just a machine for if you want to go start out. So, and uh, actually next week I have another Simplex coming, and I'm giving a doing a giveaway, but not on my YouTube, um, because of the online community board in my town. And all the permissions I've got and all the support I've got from this town, little town I live in. Uh, they're all history buffs around here and they can't get enough of what I'm finding and they're supporting me. And like I said, I got a ton of permissions. Uh, I'm giving away a metal detector on the online community board. Uh, they don't know yet, but while I have kind of hinted that I'm going to give a giveaway, but they probably think I'm going to give a silver coin or something away but I'm actually giving away a simplex uh, as thanks for all the permissions this year is going to be a great year I hope uh, especially with the legend I hope it's a great machine I chose the pro pack because it comes with an extra coil extra battery and all this good stuff and I need the little coil a lot of the areas I need a smaller coil so I see my battery is running out of power here soon. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. So yeah, as I said, I'm giving away a machine on the online community board because uh, as thanks to the community, I have a lot of people that ask me in town here what kind of metal detector they should get, if I could help them set up a metal detector, if I can show them how to metal detect and all that good stuff, so yeah. So, uh, as you can see, it comes with the 11 inch coil. It comes with an adapter, headphone adapter. It comes with a charging cable. It comes with a headset and a cab. It doesn't show the coil, so I hope I got the coil. The package with the extra coil. Uh, I guess we'll see. If not, that's not that great if it didn't, but uh, let's open the package. Let's see. Oh, we gotta get some tape. Oh, oh, maybe not. Watch oh, careful, I don't knock this on the floor. Uh, need tape. I don't want to ruin the box. Here we go. Oh. It almost all spilled on the floor. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so it does come with the, with the little coil. I thought so. So this is the, what is it called? The SP24 coil. And it's uh, 5.6 times 6. So it's a small coil, uh, but I definitely use this a lot. I use a small coil on my Amphibio a lot, so I have a lot of places where it's a trashy area. Uh, comes with metal detecting codes and ethics, which you should follow. Do not enter private property without the owner's permission. Uh, I unfortunately trespassed once in 2021 and <laughs> somebody had told me it was town property this town I live in and I go everywhere where it's town property but it wasn't it was actually privately owned so of course I post on the online community board and the owner actually said uh, you're trespassing on my land so I apologize and luckily he was pretty forgiving uh, that land comes with a great story there's a cellar hole there, there was a cave up there where they 
falsified coins in the 1700s and he actually said he might let me back in the spring so we will see I guess uh, hopefully I can finish the story about Belgia Square but anyway metal detecting codes of ethics which you should follow do not enter any private property without the owner's permission refill all your holes you know how bad it is you go somewhere and there's holes everywhere and people don't refill it uh, that just ruins it for everybody so always refill your holes remove and dispose of all trash found which I do when I metal detect and that also means other people's trash especially plastic I take it all with me there's in the parts there's always a trash can you can put stuff in so clean up after yourself and take some extra out if you see some and respect natural life and protect the environment be a be a good uh, environment person and take care of it I normally say it should be when I've been there they shouldn't be able to see I've actually been there uh, I wasn't so good in the start with my holes uh, I might still not be perfect but I always try and made it look like I've never been there so follow these ethic rules guys uh, it comes with a hat uh, an Octomacro Simplex baseball hat so that's good uh, you can always use that it comes with uh, coil hardware the charger cable yep and the wrist strap uh, and here is the headset uh, wireless headset great little headset I use it for my amphibia this will go with the amphibia I don't think it will go with the legend but it will definitely go with the amphibia user manual read your user manual what I do a lot I uh, actually go on YouTube and watch stuff so uh, hold on here let me get a drink my throat is getting kind of dry here hold on a second Okay, so I took the rest out of its cardboard. So here is the, I don't know if that's the lower or the upper, hold on. Oh, here's the, here's the lower with the, with the eye for the coil, goes here. Um, here's the upper one, and it's all carbon, or the bottom one here is carbon fiber, or much, much lighter. It's a very light machine. Uh, and of course here is the brain itself with the, with the controller uh, and you got the, the wrist strap and all that good stuff so let's oh I'll show you the coil so this is the 11 inch double D coil I'll put that on in the start so yeah, you get a lot of money for your buck. Like I said, this is $339. You can't do it much cheaper actually. So if you just choose the machine, it's $254. If you buy it on Amazon, it's free shipping, so $254. If you buy it from Calico or any metal detecting shop itself, you gotta pay shipping. So even if you buy from High Plains Metal Detector or High Plains Prospectors, I bet you you gotta pay shipping. But you don't on Amazon, so I don't know why uh, they don't give you free shipping. They gotta compute, compete with Amazon, so. And sorry guys, I go where it's cheapest. So, uh, oh, remember I got this little snake skin for the coils. I think we're going to put this on this 11 inch coil so let's put this box over here for a second uh, we can have no I'll make a shadow let's see uh, put this here put this here snake skin close this box for a second what they say a little advertising <laughs> little ad oops a little advertising wall that didn't work so well did it? Oh. close this box back up 
So yeah, I mean, two hundred and fifty-four dollars for a metal detector, guys. You can't really beat it, and it'll get you outgoing in no time. You pretty much just turn it on, and you're good to go, and it'll find you anything. So let's see if we can get this snake skin on. I never done that before, so let's see. Get this stuff out the way. They come with these little velcro straps. Uh, I think I have one in my fibrio store when I pack the metal detector away. They just sit on the on the strap, but I gotta take it off if I put that snake skin on, so let's see. Gotta stretch this out. Whoops. I lost you guys here. Let's see if I can get this off. Just looped into it, I guess, like that. I hope I don't drop you guys. So, get the snake skin out. Uh, they're like, what are they? Nine dollars or something like that. They're not with free shipping, but you can find them on eBay, you can find them on Amazon, you can buy them from Snake Skin itself, I guess. So, all you do is See if I can remember. You pretty much just push it on. See how this goes. You gotta get over the plug here. There we go. And you just keep pushing. I hope. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe with the other hand. So you gotta get it over this. This plug, I guess. That could take a little while, actually. <laughs> it's a little bit tedious. Oh, so you just push it, pull, push it, pull, push it, pull. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. See, it's coming on. I'm gonna turn the TV down a little. I hope it doesn't go in. Oh, it should. It's almost down. Yeah, I'm watching YouTube. Uh, one metal detecting channel, I guess. That's normally what it is on that. Aquariums. Or car restoration or something. So, yeah, you just get this on like this. Push it in the front like this. Pull it in the back. And it takes no time action. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bit of pain in the butt, but it's not. Um, and then you pull it out. And you got to find the rhythm, or if you lose the rhythm, it's a bit harder. <laughs> so you can hear it's moving. Uh, we're almost there. See if I can get it to go over. Uh, come on. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. A little bit lost here, it's a pain. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's almost there, guys. I don't want to ruin it, though. I think once that's on, it's never going off again. Uh, look like I might have to cut it. The opening is a little small here. Hold on, I'll be right back. So as you can see, it's actually fraying a little, whatever you call it. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it and melt it with a lighter in the end. Hold on, I'll be right back. So as you can see, guys, I had to melt it a little, so I don't put it, I'm not putting it up here. I had to cut the ends off it a little and then melt it so it doesn't start to fray more. But as you can see, it's going all the way down. And, uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it should be fine. So, yeah, so here's the snake skin for the coil. So... 
let's put some of this together. Mm. So you got the, I gotta lift you up a little. Let's put this coil over here for a second. So you got the, the controller itself. You got the, So these has some pretty genius, um, hold on, I'm gonna get you up a little here. These got some pretty genius uh, assembly. See these clips here, you just open it up and it slides in and you lock this. This is what I like about the Simplex and the Amphibio and a lot of the Noctum machines. And then you have a, the other one here and you just slide the other and you can't put it in wrong as you can see it has a slot here so it's you can only, it can only go in one way and you put that in and lock it and then you have a well you don't have a machine yet but and then you put the coil in here uh, let's see what we can do here get it down a little we are going to put the uh, with the snake skin, of course. Where did I put that? <laughs> oh, down here on the floor. So, it got a point one direction. Um, as you can see, you got a back end to the coil and a front end. So, of course, you got to make sure that your um, oh, before we do that the most important thing you got to find the coil hardware package and it's right here it's this thing here so you got to get the, the coil hardware out and like I said everybody has probably reviewed the simplex put it together um, I'm not going to do a uh, I'm not going to do a, a bench test or anything with this machine, you all know it. So it comes with different, uh, this one is when you use the little coil, you got to use the square. Uh, I think it's the little coil. No, it's actually the big coil, sorry. So you got to have the square inside there, see that? has a little square here you put that in uh, actually you gotta put the coil on first let me see if the little has it okay so they both have it so you got uh, one spare of these rubbers and this is what I don't like about the Amphibio or the Simplex these threads here way out you gotta be so careful you don't over tighten it. Um, and uh, I think they're nine bucks. Actually, I bought some spares. But uh, let's put this together here. So inside here, actually not inside there. Sorry. Inside here, you gotta put this the rubber grommet in there and one in there put them in this and then you just take this out for a second line up the coil let's see i need it on my knee here line up the coil you put this in it's not quite lined up yet let's see uh, gotta find the hole here be so careful I don't knock shit down here. I'll knock stuff down. So you find the center hole here. And this goes in. And that will hold the coil. Are we in? Oh, not quite. There we go. That was not a full solver, thank God. Um,
I don't know if I'll put this in, guys, or not. Let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, I got two. Wow. I'm knocking all kind of stuff on the floor here. So, you got to line this little square. Uh, somehow. I guess it's okay there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And then you put the whole thing in. And then you got the, the thread on the other side. I don't know I'm gonna knock stuff down here. Let's see. Here went the camera. <laughs> so let's see. Hold on. Hope you can see this. So you got the little nylon uh, bolt and the washer and all. And you just I won't tighten it too much. And then your coil is pretty much ready. Not quite yet, but now if you see the picture here, look at the coil, see what way the wire is going. You know you should spin it that way. So instead of going inside here, you go like this. And let me open this little up. So you just go around and around and around and around. As you can see, hold on. I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. Let me see. I should fit this so it fits my length of my arm. As you can see, it's way too short. I hope you can see this. I think the camera is pointing right down the ground, ain't it? That's okay for right now. Let's see. So, I hope you can see that I'm winding up the wires on. And you just wind it on and get it not real tight. I actually see some people that uh, that just and you gotta make sure you put it in the right port too. Um, this one here, guy, is the is the charger port, so you gotta. Oh, there we go again. So you gotta go over here. See the rubber one. See if I can catch it. Hold on. There we go. See this rubber. So you gotta go in the opposite one. Because the rubber has to be, that's the only thing that's keeping it watertight. Um, let me line this up here for a second. So you got a little mark in here that got to line up with the, with the metal detector, of course. With the, inlet, with the coil inlet. So this um, wire thing here is a little tight, but it's okay. Let's see. Let me just test if this is the right way. Yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah. So we can adjust this. This wire here, see how it's, it's a little bit, I should have gone a few more uh, windings. I'll do that after. So, so this here is either for a headset or for, uh, what's the other one? for a headset or I don't know what else oh for the charger and if you get underwater you gotta have this on guys or you ruin your metal detector the housing here itself is completely waterproof so so that's pretty much it I mean uh, like I said I gotta do some better with this winding it looks kind of stupid um, I don't always use the the handcuff strap uh, it's kind of in the way 
so I don't know if this detector is charged up and another thing else you should check and see what version it is I think they ship as 2.68 uh, maybe they updated let's see if I can remember how to turn this thing on if it has power uh, oh metal button oh it does have power so as you can see it's coming on and I didn't see what version it is it should have told me let's power it down again power it back up Simplex Plus 2.79 did this say 79? I didn't know it was a 79 let's power it down again 2.78 I think it says so yeah so it's pretty much the latest version and as you can hear you shouldn't really run a metal detector inside because you have so much interference but as you can see over here it works pretty damn good this is just a nail file so yeah let me turn this off again actually let me explain a little let's see if I can remember how to turn the volume down here uh, yeah I can so I turn it all the way down so it's not so noisy so you got a turn this a little bit down here you got a whoops you got a field mode or park mode it's a field or park I can't see it uh, I think it's a field mode two park modes and you got a beach and an all metal so yeah and uh, you got all kind of functions down here too uh, I'm not going to get into it it's a great machine and if you want to get into a uh, into metal attack and get yourself a simplex um, I will show you how it works when we get out I hunted with the other one and it was a great machine so we will have that out at some point so yeah Get yourself a simplex if you want to start metal detecting or if you're metal detecting. It's a little great machine. Uh, like I said, it put the metal detecting world upside down. I got to do something about the snake skin. It's more ugly than it's good. So that got to look perfect. If you have to have that on, it will look ugly. ugly. <laughs> so uh, so this is the metal detector. And like I said, it, came, it comes with a little... Let's turn it off. So it comes with the uh, with the little coil too, and I use that a lot actually. Little coil. Um, it's good in trashy areas, and it's an awesome coil. Um, like the simplex won't go as deep as the the amphibio, probably won't go as deep as the legend either. It won't go as deep as a Knox 800 but I've seen a lot of tests especially uh, what's it called there's one guy I follow on YouTube Super Freak Pastry or something like that he does a lot of bench tests a lot of tests and the simplex surprises every once in a while I mean it's just it's just a machine you just go and turn on and you just go you put it in one of the modes and you don't really have to do anything you just go and that's it um, and he has proved it over and over again it's a great machine um, and he's find some awesome stuff so I definitely gotta run this machine some more so so this was the simplex um, hold on let me get back with the other box I have I want to show you some equipment actually I want to fix this little snake skin coil that looks ugly so I want to fix it first I'll be right back okay I fixed that wall it looks like in some bunch now that's another thing guys this machine falls so there's nothing hardly 
I mean, look at it. Uh, grateful when you do a river or low water. You can fold it all the way down and it doesn't take up any space. So it's a great little machine, guys. Definitely recommend if you want to start metal taking This is the machine you should get. You would not regret it. So, and it looked like they updated, so to the latest version so that's cool I don't have to deal with that not that it's that big of a problem uh, and it come like I said mine comes with a little coil headset and that the regular machine for 254 you just get the machine uh, and this coil but it's plenty of good to start out with and you can always invest in the other stuff I mean you would need a shovel you should get a pinpointer this has a pinpointer function but it's not the greatest so yeah, you should get a pinpointer too. There's a lot of, I use the Garrett Carrot, they call it the Garrett pinpointer. I find that's the best one I have or not, the pinpointer. It's not as great as the Garrett, I think. A lot of people like it, it doesn't go as far. Um, it also, I have a, a Fisher, a Fisher pinpointer not that great either it goes in interferes with the with the frequencies so I like the Garrett the best actually uh, I might try and get the uh, not uh, uh, pulse like they use for diving just use the handle uh, that seems to be good too but uh, let me get right back to you and we're gonna do the other unboxing hold on so here's the other box as you can see it has been taking a beating they repaired it probably fell out and all kind of stuff the only good thing is what's in here should be used to taking a beating I got this from Calico and I didn't have to pay for shipping so let's see somebody repaired it it probably fell out I would say uh, so I mean, it's not a catastrophe if it's scratched, because it will get scratched up, but hopefully it's not. Oh, it does have some protection on it. Well, I'll take it out here. Let's put it here for a second. So... That's what's in it. So it's a stew stew line. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's a new metal detecting shovel. Uh, let's see if I take my dolls with me. I need a new shovel. So it's called a stew line. Uh, got oil on it. Pretty sharp. That's Calico's um, shovel. Well, I'm sure they don't make them themselves, but it's Calico's new brand of shovels. Uh, their own in-house shovel. Um, pretty sharp. It got some serrated edges. Uh, I'll see how sturdy it is. I mean, the weld here should be pretty damn good. So, it's not a pretty thing. Shovel is not meant to be pretty, but. Uh, yeah it's a little bit heavy that might be a little bit heavy to walk around with for a whole day it's a lot heavier than my own shovel but uh hopefully it can make some good plugs uh, like i said i need another shovel because my daughters go with me so i'll be using this one they can use the lightweight one and i have another one in my car so but it's called the uh, stew line STU line and uh, Calico, it's Calico's in house metal detecting shovel. I, would, I think uh, I'm sure they have somebody to make it for them and they sell it, but I think it's powder coated. So, see how good it holds up. Uh, definitely, it has an edge so you can step down on it. So, hopefully, it makes some good plugs. Uh, but it is a little heavy. It'll be a little heavy to drag around for a whole day, but it is what it is. We're going to see how it goes. I like my other shovel. It's very light. I did bend it once, though. The blade, actually. I don't think I'll bend this blade. 
at all. Um, so yeah, this is the metal detecting shovel I got. So we're getting ready for 2022 season here. Um, it'll probably be a little while, guys. Uh, it's very cold here in Massachusetts. And I'm getting older, so I don't go out in the cold that much. <laughs> I don't like it as much as I used to. So I'm going to have to wait a little to the ground thaws up. Um, we might go in the woods, who knows? And uh, we got a lot of plan for this year. A lot of uh, permissions, a ton of permissions. I didn't get to all of them last year. There's a bunch of places I want to go back. Uh, and this year I can bring my girls with me, my daughters, and we can hopefully find some good stuff. One can be on the Simplex, one can be on the Amphibio, and I can be on the Legend. Uh, the legend is uh, shipping date is not before maybe February and it could be delayed again who knows uh, I hope not uh, I mean I already paid for it so I got the pro pack with the extra battery and all that so I'm waiting with anxiety to get it uh, I hope it's a good machine I also got the small coil for that because like I said, I use the small small coil a lot, and uh, but like I said, it's going to be a great year. I hope. Hopefully, we we'll find a lot of good stuff. We're also going to be doing some river hunting this year, river metal detecting, uh, but also looking for bottles. We might also include some magnet fishing. I got two magnets. I have only been out a couple times magnet fishing. Uh, Metal detecting took up a lot and it took off like crazy last year. My Instagram is doing good. Uh, getting close to a thousand followers there, so that's good. Uh, my YouTube channel is a little bit slower. I think I'm getting, I'm somewhat over, I don't know, 300 and some. Uh, but it grows every year, so I just gotta figure out how to edit my content and make a fairly good job maybe be in the pictures a lot more in the movies a lot more even I don't like it uh, and we'll see what we find but like I said you want to go metal detecting you want to start out get yourself a simplex it's quite the machine uh, there is other machines out there but not that price range for what you're getting they're probably about hundred dollars more so so get yourself a simplex and go out there and do some metal detecting if you like this kind of content press subscribe and like and you know I'll be back with more bye